Hey guys, I am LB, and let's check out Lucky Day by RoboSK. Uh, I mean, Unportable Portals Out of Vision, Part 3. This is the third part. People suggested in the comments that these tests need more portal surfaces, so here you go. Here are some additional facts. I mean, I think you meant here are some additional facts. First, I wanted to make a chamber with a movable floor button, but a fizzler does the exact same job for this. Also, I wanted to place a fizzler by a hammer that is able to close open portals. The combination of a death barrier and a fizzler has almost the same outcome. This level was created with the puzzle maker. The Franken without dropper were replaced with the fizzler button, and the sphere without dropper was replaced with a trigger that removes the portal gun. If you found a way to solve this test chamber using tricky maneuvers or bugs or glitches, please let me know so I can fix this map. Thanks! Alright, well, let's get started. I was looking forward to these maps. I like how we had, an, uh, we had a portal gun in the elevator until we came through the door here. <laughs> Alright. What does this antline go to? What, does the button deactivate the button? Because if it does, that's, that's frightening, to say the least. Alright, let's head up here. And right, since we don't have a portal gun, we can pass through the fizzler without our portal sizzling, because we don't own those portals right now. We have disowned the portals. Ah, this unlabeled button goes to this unlabeled dropper, I suppose. And it auto-respawns, good to know. I guess that works. I mean, I could easily portal portal, and then go around and do this exact same thing again, or I could just throw the keep up there and save time. Oops. Well, so much for my portal placement. Alright, let's- let's try- let's try that instead. Let's try this again, shall we? Save time! There we go. That works. That works. Oh, whoa, what is going on here? Really? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. There's so much! <laughs> you- you weren't kidding about more portal surfaces. So we can't get in there until we press that. Alright, well. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's do this. But there's no way to turn this off until... Yeah, hmm... Whatever. It doesn't affect me right now, so who cares? <laughs> the issue is, how do I get over there? How do I go anywhere, actually? I'm being an idiot. <laughs> I know exactly what I need to do, and I'm- I'm just being dumb about it. Alright, so. Step one. Step two. Step three. It's literally that easy. I'm not thinking with these buttons. I'm not thinking without portals. <laughs> That's something you don't often say. You're not thinking without portals. to get me across. Let's 
Although, now that I have a portal in here... Yeah, that's all I need to do. But real quick, I wanna go across here. So we need dot and X. Gotcha. Plonk. I said plonk! Plonk! There we go. It finally plonked. Alright, so this... Maybe that ant line just goes through the button to the fizzler. Cause that- I can't imagine it doing anything else. If we do this... Right... And theoretically... Do that. And maybe. Yes! That's exactly what we needed to do. Oh, it activates the dropper as well. Interesting. Oh, okay. It, it, plunk, 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 there we go. Bam. Bam. And... Alabama. There we go. Actually, nope, 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 let's, let's do it on this side. Thank you. So this is Dot and Moon, whatever those are. Well, that's half of the exit requirements. Or... the other. Does this have any signage on it, or am I free to take the cube off of here? I don't see any signage, so I think we don't need it anymore. I'm going to assume that we don't need it anymore. Wait, X. And square. Ooh. Where does square and moon go? Oh. I need to get this cube out of there. We gotta swap the cubes. Alright, so now we just treat this cube as if it's that one up there. We should be good to go. Plonk our portals, walk into our portals. Plonk some more portals from here. Whee! Plonk a portal there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but that's fine. Alright, so now... Take this... Get in there! What are you doing? Get in the cube button. Alright, carefully. Oh dear. What have I done wrong? This worked before!
What the? Oh, I was like, where did the cube go? Okay, well we can kinda... There, I'll just do that for now. That works. It's a bit cheaty, but it works. There we go. All right. That works. All right, so now... We can do that. Bonk. Bonk. And then... we can... plonk, plonk. Don't need to plonk it there, technically, but I just want to. Let's take this with us, and put it in on here. And then we'll be able to recall it whenever we want, theoretically. Actually, we just need to... we just need to lift up the other cube and put it back down, and that should pl put that one up there. How do we get in there now? Oh right, the light bridge, duh. Of course. Alright, so at this point, I believe we can just lift this cube up and set it down and it should recall itself. Because we, we bootstrapped this cube. For those of you who are unaware, this is what cube bootstrapping looks like. There's the light bridge, because the game lagged. Yes! Did it! Yes, yes. All right, let's get in there. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!